Hello everybody. Welcome to Marietta's Art Channel. This is part two in a three-part series where I incorporate artwork into a frame. Today, I am going to be embellishing the frame to get it ready for my eyeball scratchboard art piece that I created on my last show. So with that, I am so excited to get it started. So let's go. The frame that I'm using actually is a very simple little frame. Um, I think I cost me like five dollars and I am going to put little putty in there because the frame ends up having a little bit of a bunch of holes in here actually. So I'm going to move this over and I'm going to work on the inside part of the frame. So this is a really cool little thing. It's um, a water putty made by Durham's and it dries really hard. It's like basically dries like a rock and I've used it for so many different things. It's so great to fill in holes and all kinds of things. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that in here and put a little bit of water in here. It doesn't take much. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. And it dries really quickly actually, so I don't have a ton of working time. So I am just going to fill these in. And nicely, oh, I'm really good at working in a little tight space, right? Okay, there we go. And I'm going to get rid of that and I'm just going to take a little bit of water and just kind of work on it so it's not all over the place here. And I think I can probably paint over this pretty quickly. It doesn't have to like totally dry because I'm, the next thing I'm going to do is paint acrylic over it so that it has a nice background for the edge for inside the frame. So that's the next thing I'm going to be doing. All right, so I'm going to put the sponge in here and get it a little wet. And then I'm going to just cover it with kind of dark, a dark background. All right, so we're ready to add some lighter components. So the next thing is I'm going to do a lighter gray acrylic. I'm going to um, use this pearlescent acrylic artist ink. It's a lot more um, flowy and watery and it gives it a really cool little shine in addition so I have to make sure that I mix it properly and here we go and I'm just gonna add a little bit of this on here and it gives it a really cool look especially to the edges. It just gives it that little pearlescent metallic look. And once resin will hit it, it will just be really cool three-dimensional. So there's that. And we're gonna let that rest here. So I'm gonna heat this up and it should be ready to go. The next step that I'm gonna use this for is I'm gonna caulk around it so that when I put the resin on it, um, it doesn't go outside of the frame on the inside. Um, and it just stays right on top of the frame area where I'm gonna put the scratch board art. Okay, I think this is good. <laughs> okay, take three. <laughs> now that I have this done, as far as the background, I am going to caulk the background into the frame so it doesn't move when we put the resin in and it doesn't flow outside or inside the frame. So I'm going to flip the frame over and put some silicone clear caulking on the inside of the frame 
and probably should take the tip off, right? Okay, well, that's probably a good idea. And then I'm just gonna cock it and pop it and it'll go around. And it's coming out pretty good here. And then I'll just fine tune it when I'm putting the other thing on. It's kind of messy as you can see. Art is messy. And we all know that have tried art, it's messy. And uh, anyway, I'm gonna put this around here. And I'm going to just kind of make sure that it's all covered on the inside. And just with my little finger, that's gloved, which is a great thing. And then I'm going to attempt to put this in here. This will be interesting. So let's see here. I'm going to try to clean my finger off and then place this in here, which I can't even see where the slot is now. So that's why they call it an experiment. Art in progress. Here we go. Got it? And then I'm going to put the little clips on so it holds. And then I'm going to remove some of this caulking from the back as much as I can. And I am going to put the background onto my frame right now. And I'm going to use a couple different colorants, which are silver, um, sparkly, and we're going to let that harden overnight. So I'm going to use this stone coat art resin this time, which takes a lot longer to harden. It takes 24 hours, but um, lots of working time. It's amazing. I just love it. I love it for everything. So I'm going to mix it now and then I'll use the colorants. I'll start doing the process right now. I always clean my mixing spatula, everything I use before it, I forget about it and I can't use it anymore. <laughs> um, the next thing I am going to do after this is mixed, I'm going to use colorants. So the colorants are made by marblers and I'm going to use the dark gray, which is B103 and light gray B106. Um, they are pretty much the same color family. They're beautiful. They're very um, shiny and pearlescent when they're done and when they're used onto a clear resin. Um, I'm not going to add a ton of it in there because I want the background that we did to show through. So um, I'm going to put a little bit of this powder into these cups and then add the resin because I don't want the powder to poof and then I'm breathing it in. So I first do that. Some people add the powder later and I tend to end up having it like I could tell it's in the air. So I don't like that idea. It's mica and I don't want mica in my lungs. Um, so I'm really careful that way. I am going to add Well, probably a little less. A little bit. It goes a long ways with resin. So I'm going to add this much of the light. And same amount of the dark. And I'm going to add most of it in there. I'm going to probably leave a little bit of the clear resin um, in this cap, just in case I want to add a little more interest to the background. And it doesn't take much to mix it, so I'm just gonna leave that in here. And I'm gonna mix it around. And then the next thing, I'm gonna flow it onto here. And I think I'll start with the dark. And I probably won't use all of it, but we'll just see how that all looks. Go around the edges. That's what's really gonna show the edges. 
And then I'm going to close the lighter one. And it's so much fun watching this process because it's, it's always beautiful. All right, so I'm going to kind of not mix it totally together, but just make sure all the edges are touching. Because remember, I'm going to cover all this with clear resin at the end of this whole process. So I just want to make sure this is covered all the way. And I don't want to make it too thick or too thin. If it's too thin, it might cause some fish eyes in here, and I don't really want that either. So um, we'll just have to kind of play around with it. And that's the fun part of doing resin is you end up doing all kinds of different things that you never thought of while you're looking at it. It's so beautiful. So I'm just going to add a little bit more. And a little bit more of the other one. And make it kind of interesting. And now I'm going to torch it a little bit. Get rid of the bubbles. And that's when the fun begins. And then I actually like to tilt just to get a different effect. It brings out the silver particles in the resin and the mica and creates some beautiful patterns. Unfortunately, we're gonna cover it up tomorrow, some of it, but some of it will stay. Um, the other thing we can do just to make it a little more three-dimensional is we can actually add the clear on here too. So I think I will do some of that and maybe to one little part of it, just give it a little more 3D effect. A little bit here. And look how cool it looks. And use one more flame. And I actually touched a little piece of this on here. I'm going to remove it because that will show. And then I use this little pick to make sure that it touches the ends and there aren't any voids on the corner because that will show also. All right. And the cool thing about this whole experiment is that that's the kind of thing I'm going to be doing with my scratch board frames, the CNC cut frames and I haven't done that before and I didn't really want to do a trial for my hundreds of hours worth of art on one piece with not really knowing how this all works together. So I am really happy with this and I will move this around a little bit more. So when I was talking about scratch board, I am actually talking about these pieces on, our, on my wall back here. And that's another subject and that's gonna be another video. A little more flaming here. And I'm gonna let this harden overnight. And tomorrow we're gonna put the two together and create a piece of art.
So one more step in this process, it's really important that since it's going to sit overnight or even a small amount of time, that you cover your piece because there is dust in the air and no matter how well you try to be clean and dust free, you're never going to achieve it. So I am going to put this little piece on top and it's going to cover all of it. And now it's safe from all that dust. We're back from creating the frame and I'm so excited to share the next episode with you where I get to incorporate my eyeball artwork with the frame we created today. If you missed the first episode, click on the link below and you can watch that and kind of catch up with everything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Happy arting.